Look, I know you've most likely seen these videos tons of times already, but trust me, my predictions are gonna blow your mind. My predictions are so crazy that you'll be like, how could I not even think about this? My predictions are so insane that I'm just gonna stop this filler and get straight into my intro. The Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pass launched today. Many content creators have already released their predictions for the new courses. I wanted to share my predictions now because I feel like now is a good time because the DLC just released. Okay, that's honestly kind of bullshit. Um, I'm releasing my predictions now, hoping that the algorithm will be nice to me. I mean, it was pretty generous with the Xenoblade 3 video, so, uh, Susan, can you grant your boy a favor? Anyway. I'll start off this video with my predictions and address my thoughts on the released courses later. So before we begin, I'll set a few ground rules. Each cup will start with an easy course and will get slightly harder with each course. Each cup will also try to have one or two courses with a theme connecting to its name. And finally, each wave of DLC will try to have as much variety as possible, especially when it comes to the theme of the tracks, such as snow, desert, forest, etc. Many of these tracks will also be coming from Mario Kart Tour, considering that for Wave 1, many of the tracks are from Mario Kart Tour, and Nintendo is pulling from Tour's graphics. Just to make things clear, if a track that I mention is from Mario Kart Tour at the time of March 18th, 2022, I'll have a Mario Kart Tour logo in the bottom left corner of the screen. But with all that being said, let's start off with the Turnip Cup. New York Minute was the first track in Mario Kart Tour. It's a good starting track, like Tokyo Blur and Paris Promenade. Rock Rock Mountain is my favorite track in Mario Kart 7, and I would love to see it return. It's also a pretty basic track. Peach Gardens is the track that matches with the turnip theme. The track is a bit more complicated than the ones before as well. Frappe Snowland is a good snow-themed course. The Mario Kart Tour remake is a nice improvement on the original version. Ghost Valley 3 is the only Ghost Valley course that hasn't been remade yet. I think it's time for it to return. Mushroom Gorge matches the Propeller Mushroom theme, along with Airship Fortress, being a track set in the sky. Both tracks are fan favorites as well. London Loop is probably my favorite city track from Mario Kart Tour, and I think it's long enough to be placed at the end of the cup. Sydney Sprint is a solid basic track. It's good for beginning the cup. Lakeside Park is the course from Mario Kart Super Circuit that I want to be remade the most. I like how on the later laps, rocks begin to fall on the track. It fits the rock theme well. Shy Guy Bazaar has a very unique theme, and I would love to see it return. DK Mountain is a fan favorite, and it also fits the rock theme. Having two volcano themed tracks in one cup might be a stretch, but anything can happen. Vancouver Velocity is a fan favorite city track from Mario Kart Tour. It is somewhat difficult, but the rest of the tracks in this cup have a similar difficulty, except Vanilla Lake 1. The Vanilla Lake levels are very easy snow-themed tracks, and it's good to have a very easy course occasionally. Waluigi Pinball is an incredibly popular track, and if it isn't remade, people will riot. Moonview Highway is a challenging traffic-themed course, and even the name of the track matches the cup's theme. Koopa Troopa Beach is a simple beach track, but it would be nice to have it, especially because it's referenced in Sunshine Airport. Los Angeles Laps has probably the biggest layout for a city track in Mario Kart Tour. I don't know how they would go about the diverging pass in this one, considering that some of the variants have two different starting points, but they'll figure it out. Yoshi Desert kind of fits the theme of the cup because Yoshi eats the fruit that's in the cup icon. Wario Shipyard is a cool water-centered track, and it's a good one to end the cup. Figure 8 Circuit isn't really an interesting track, but Mario Kart 8 needs this track because it's a figure 8. Get it? Figure 8? Mario Kart 8? Banshee Boardwalk is a solid ghost themed track. I think it's time for it to return, even though it was remade in Mario Kart DS. Singapore Speedway is a nice track. It currently only has one variant, but I'm sure that it will be expanded on before they release it in the past. 
Dino Dino Jungle is also a fan favorite, and it's a good jungle theme course to end the cup on. Daisy Hills is an amazing beginner course, one of the best tracks from Mario Kart 7. It also kind of fits the feather theme, but the main course in this cup that fits the feather theme is... Mario Circuit 4. The feather item originated in Super Mario Kart, and it never returned until 8 Deluxe. Mario Circuits 1, 2, and 3 have already been remade, so hopefully Mario Circuit 4 gets some love this time around. Sunset Wilds has a cool theme, with the daytime turning to nighttime as the laps go on, and I like its remake in Mario Kart Tour, but I hope that it can get more changes in 8 Deluxe. DK Summit is a very cool snowy mountain track. It has the right amount of difficulty for its theme, too. Berlin Byways is another great city course. Just like Singapore Speedway, it currently only has one variant, but the track can be really good if it's expanded on. Wario Stadium is the only Mario Kart 64 track that hasn't been remade, and while I would personally prefer Wario Coliseum from Mario Kart Double Dash, Wario Stadium absolutely must come back. However, it would be strange to have two Wario Stadiums in one game, but there are already three Rainbow Roads, so why not? Koopa Cape is another fan favorite course. It would be incredible in Mario Kart 8, along with... GameCube's Bowser's Castle. Out of all the Bowser Castle courses, this one needs to come back. While I find the Wii version to be more unique, the GameCube version is the definition of what a Bowser's Castle course should be like. Delfino Square is a solid course. It is well paced and has a good amount of difficulty and has good shortcuts. Broken Pier is another super circuit track that I would love to see remade. It can be turned into a really great ghost themed track. Maple Treeway is yet another fan favorite from Mario Kart Wii. I would absolutely love to see this one return, and it would fit the acorn theme well. Merry Mountain is my favorite original track from Mario Kart Tour. I love Ninja Hideaway, but I just find Merry Mountain to be more enjoyable. I really hope it's added to the DLC. I know that almost every other prediction list has this idea on it, but that's because this idea is just genius. I believe that the Rainbow Roads from Mario Kart Super Circuit, Double Dash, DS, and 3DS will return. I do not believe that Mario Kart Wii's Rainbow Road will return, because that one would take the longest to develop. But if a Rainbow Road such as the GBA version is placed in an earlier cup, then the Wii one could make a return. Now that all my predictions are done, I just want to quickly mention that I do believe that tracks to currently be revealed in Mario Kart Tour have a chance to be in the Booster Course Pass, but I wanted to provide a full list of predictions, so that's why I didn't have any empty remaining slots. Since the first wave of the Booster Course Pass released today, I just want to give my first impressions on it. In my original video about the Booster Course Pass, I addressed the concern about the graphics. I thought that the graphics would be no problem at all. And... I was right. The graphics look great. Some standouts are Paris Promenade, Choco Mountain, and Ninja Hideaway. The grass textures in Toad Circuit and Shroom Ridge could be improved, but I love the road textures in Paris Promenade and Sky Garden. In short, I'm really excited for the rest of the Booster Course Pass. I feel like they will go about announcing the new waves just like Smash Bros revealing the tracks in each new wave at the beginning or middle of each direct. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. Feel free to post your predictions and thoughts in the comments below. Have a great rest of your morning, afternoon, evening, and night.